Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite things that I've been using because I haven't done one of the... My hair was literally just stuck to my... It was just stuck to my eyelash glue. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, today I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite things that I've been using because I haven't done one of these videos in super long, so I figured, why not? Because... Why not, you know? All right, so we're gonna do all sorts of things. From beauty to skincare, which is beauty, and clothing, because I have like four things that I love. I have a lot of new clothing that I absolutely love, but I figured I'd just show you four things because if I did my whole wardrobe, you guys would be bored. So I figured I'll just show you four things. I did get a bunch of new candles, but I talked about some of the candles in another video, but I do, I have been buying the Bath & Body Works candles for a while and I absolutely love a lot of them. I think that they're just so good. So if you have a chance, go on to Bath & Body Works, three wick candles or one wick. The one wicks are $14.50, but you can get them on sale sometimes. And also the three wicks are $24.50, but don't buy them at that price. Wait until they're on sale because that is ridiculous. But I also like to buy the Goose Creek candles because those are fantastic. Their scent throw is amazing and they have some really good scents. I actually started purchasing some of their male candles. That's what they call them. They're like man candles and they smell really good. They're like um, a man in a candle. You light them up and it just smells fantastic. So we are going to stop talking about candles because I could go on about candles forever, but I'm not going to do that to you guys because I feel bad. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you that I love are these. These are can you see them these are slippers and they're from Shein and I love these so much they're so comfortable the only issue I have with them is that I think they're for left feet only as most of us have a left foot and a right foot you need a left foot and a right foot pair of slippers or shoe <laughs> or any kind of shoes but I think these are made for two left feet and I don't have two left feet. I have one left and one right. So I've been having an issue with the way that they feel, but I think I've molded them into my feet enough that they're comfortable, but I love them. They keep my feet nice and warm. I'm the type of person that walks in a house and I never take my shoes off. It's like one of those things that I forget. I forget to take my shoes off. I don't know why. I remember She Crafty asking me like, why don't you ever take your shoes off? And I'm like, I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> so I've been purchasing slippers so that I can stop wearing shoes in my house. All the time we also have hardwood floor on most of our house so I mean I do like having slippers on on the hardwood floor or shoes on the hardwood floor because it's freaking freezing you know let's talk about some of the clothes because that's what I want to do the first pair is a pair of jeans and hopefully I can show you guys these enough but these are from Shein I love the bottom of the these are jeggings. I love the bottom of them. They cinch on the ankle really, really nice. So it doesn't look baggy on your ankle. And they're super, super comfortable and cute. I was actually really nervous to buy jeans from Shein because I was afraid that they wouldn't be the correct material because I used to only wear American Eagle jeggings because they were the most comfortable. And I was afraid that these wouldn't feel that way. But these feel really good. They're nice and stretchy. They feel really comfortable. I got a size large and um, I, I can wear a belt with them, but I really don't have to. I do like wearing belts, but I don't have to. They don't fall down. They're very high rise and I like the high rise about them. The pockets are super cute and I like the color. These are just really comfortable. I don't remember what pair of jeans these are, but I'll look into my account and I'll link the ones I bought, but these are just really nice. The pockets are nice and deep. The pockets are cute on the back. These just are super comfortable jeggings, and I like high-rise pants, so I really like these a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, the next shirt is this one. I love this shirt so much. It, it's a little short on me, so I wouldn't necessarily wear this with a pair of low-cut pants, but because I like to wear high-rise pants a lot, these are really cute. Um, it is a mock turtleneck shirt you guys have seen me wear this it goes directly underneath of my belly like 
like, you know, like right below your belly, that's where it falls. And it just fits really nice. I love the color. I love that it's navy blue and brown. I just think that's so pretty. And I just, I love the shirt. The sleeves are really nice. It's nice and stretchy. It just fits really nice and it looks good on. And I love it so much. The next thing is this. This is my new favorite sweater. I wear this every day because it's so comfortable and so warm. And I just, and it smells like me. I wear like a musky, oily, <laughs> musky oil, a musky oil scented perfume and it smells so good. Scarlett really likes it too. Dahlia does not care about the way I smell. She does not want to wear perfume. I can't wait until Scarlett's a little bit older so I can like put makeup all over her because I don't think Dahlia will ever let me. I want to. Believe me, I want to, but I don't think she will. Anyway, um, this is just a really cute sweater. It's super soft. I was afraid that when you washed it, it would shrink, but it doesn't. I love the arms. I just like the pattern of it. I like the color and I really like it. Again, this is from Shein and I just, it's like a perfect sweater for me. I love it so much. The last thing I'm gonna show you are leggings. I buy these leggings like every three months, maybe every six months from Luxury Diva. I used to get their subscription box every month and they sent us a pair of leggings one month and I fell in love with them and now I purchase them every few months. I love them so, so much. They're high rise. They tuck everything in really nicely. They're the perfect length. And I, I buy a size medium and they're just, they're really, really good. They're cotton and I love them. They are just regular leggings. I don't know. They're just cotton leggings that are just fantastic. I just really like these a lot. I just, they're just like my favorite leggings. I'll link these in my description box so you guys can check them out. Such a good pair of leggings. I love a good, comfortable pair of leggings, and these are a good, comfortable pair of leggings. All right. I got a box of stuff right here because I figured I would need to. Oh, my goodness. I've been trying to wear eyelashes all the time because I want to get comfortable with them, but I just, I don't think I'll ever get comfortable with wearing lashes. They just, they just don't like my face. They fall off all the time. I'm definitely gluing them on. I just don't know why they don't stay. Maybe it's the glue I'm using. I'm not sure. Anyway, do I have a cat meowing? What I'm wearing on my lips today, I absolutely love. This is the Urban Decay. I don't know what this is. Hold on, let me see. Urban Decay Stay Naked vice up chemistry it's a glossy tint and it's beautiful it's just this really beautiful tinted gloss and i just love it it's so comfortable it stays on for quite a while i do have to reapply it but not as much as like a gloss you know i love it so much all right so do you want to do skincare first let's do skincare first because why not so the first thing I'm going to show you is this. I got this, I believe, in my BoxyCharm. And when I was doing the unboxing, I was like, I don't even know why. Like, I was telling you that I don't use toner. It's just one of those things I don't use. I don't know why. It's kind of a step that I forget. But so many of you were like, use that toner. It is so good. You're going to notice a huge difference with your skin if you use toner. So I started using this. This is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep Pore Cleaning Toner. And you guys... The difference that I see in my skin when using this is ridiculous. This, I've never noticed such a huge difference with my skin with any kind of product I've ever used. It's just so good. So I, and you only use just the tiniest little bit. I've been using it for, I think three weeks now and I'm only down to here. I wonder if all toners are this good. I, I don't know. If all toners are this good, I don't know why I've never used it. But this one's really, really good. I'll link it in my description box. I've really enjoyed using it. Definitely has helped clear my skin up a lot. And I don't notice waking up like super oily. Sometimes when I use moisturizers, especially this one, the It Cosmetics, I notice that I wake up and I'm really shiny. Where when I use the toner, I'm not waking up as shiny. So on to moisturizers. I have two moisturizers. I have this one, which is the Glam Glow moisture rip omega rich moisturizer i received this in a mystery box a poshmark mystery box by michelle crawford i'll link it in my description box so i got this in there and i was so excited because i was like i'm gonna use this all over my face like it's super fancy it's so expensive i don't usually buy 
expensive face lotions and then someone wrote in my comment section that it really helps her psoriasis on her face and I'm like well I don't normally break out with psoriasis on my face but I do have psoriasis on my body and I started using it on my elbows and my knees and I have noticed a huge difference in my skin not that it's not that I'm not having a flare-up because I do still get flare-ups but I've noticed that it's not as dry and itchy when using this, I'm almost done it because I've used it all over my body and I literally just got it. Like that's all I have left. I'm saving the littlest last drop so that I can use it when I'm like super dry one day. And then the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream face lotion. I use this all the time. This is one of my favorite face lotions to use. I only use it at night because it is quite a heavy moisturizer, but this is super good. It keeps my face nice and moisturized. I do feel like it plumps my skin and I love it on my neck. So if you're looking for a really good thick moisturizer for your face, this is a really good one. I think I got this in an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm, I'm not sure. And the last skincare item that I've been using every day, twice a day, is the DNA, no, the Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt Triple Peptide Eye Cream. And that's right here. And this is the only eye cream that I've noticed like an actual difference with my eyes. I have such dark circles under my eyes and I wake up with puffy eyes and I have crow's feet on my eyes like most of us do when we smile and laugh and you know. I've noticed such a huge difference with my overall eye appearance since I started using this that I wonder what's in it. It's like a magic in a cream. Magic in an eye cream. And I want to put it all over my face, but I'm afraid that because it's for your eyes, would it do something to my face? I'm not sure. But I really, really like this a lot. Again, I'll link it. All right, let's talk about my nails because when I got my Allure box last month, or this month actually, because it's still January, when I got and when I got my Allure box, I was like, oh, they didn't put the product in the box. They gave us a coupon, which was a $30 coupon, to go online and get nail strips. I've used, I went, so... I complained about it. I was like, I'd rather have it in my box. But after reading up on it, you what you do is you go online, you pick the nail strips that you want. And with the Allure ones, a lot of people are commenting on my Allure box that their coupon doesn't work. It does work. You have to go into their search bar. You have to search up Allure, Allure picks. And then it will bring up, I think there's like eight Allure nail picks that they have. And you can pick one of those and then it's free. You just put it in your shopping cart and we'll take it right off. Uh, with your coupon code. So I did that and then I added three more nail strips in there just to see if I actually like them. I'm gonna test them out, try them, and why they're so expensive, right? They did have $25 ones and then they have $15 ones, but there's no nail strips that are cheaper than $15, which is very pricey for nail strips. So anyway, I got them. Oh no, before I checked out, after I picked my nail strips, before I checked out, they wanted me to scan my hands. So what I did was I held like a on my ID or it was my credit card, I don't remember, and I scanned both hands, these fingers right here, four fingers right here, and then they have you scan your thumb. They have you scan them flat and then they have you scan them like this so that they can see like the curves of your fingers and all that kind of stuff. And then they create these nail strips for your fingers, which I was like, well, that's really cool. I wonder if they're going to fit. So about a week later, I got my nail strips, and the first one that I put on, I absolutely loved. They were so easy to put on. I barely had to take, like, you do have to, like, file down the extra off your nail, but I barely had any extra. I have super short nails. I bite my nails. That's why I always have my nails painted or have something on them, because it kind of stops me from biting my nails. Um, I don't like long nails either. Anyway, so, and I also have, like, wide nail beds. They're not super wide, but they're, like, an awkward wide. They're not, like, thin, and they're not wide. They're, like just I don't know I have a weird nail so they fit really really nice and they also send send you a free top coat which has a really pretty shimmer in it it's not too much of a shimmer where it takes over the nail color but it's a very light beautiful shimmer so I put the nails on super easy to apply then I fix them so that there wasn't like any of the extra I fixed I filed off and then I put the nail coat on the the, t the gel top coat on my nails and those nail strips lasted for almost two weeks. I had to take off the last one because my nails were growing out. So then I put these on. These aren't my favorite. My husband wanted me to put these ones on next because he was like, 
you always do a solid color and I wanted he wanted to like have me do something different and this was one of the allure picks it was like the only one that I could pick that I kind of liked so I put these on these are really nice too the only issue with these is that they kind of like shriveled up a little bit like you can see a little bit of ridging on them or like crinkling in them when I put the the top coat on which is a little strange but the other ones were perfect and then I got these two and this one is just plain red or maroon so we have these and these are like my nails right here see how they're kind of short and they have an extra strip for like if you mess up but they have right and left hand and the first one I got guys it's called it's a vibe and I love them so much I wish that I got like 15 of them because I loved the way they looked so much and then I got this one I don't remember which one's this what this is called um I don't know but this one's just like a glittery ombre I don't know if you can see it through the plastic I don't want to take them out because I don't want it to dry but it is a glittery ombre and they're so cute and pretty I can't wait to put those on uh, these are really, really good. I can understand the price because of them, you know, matching it to your, like fitting your fingers and scanning your fingers in and all that kind of stuff. I understand the $15 price. $25 is a little bit pricey for me and I normally would not pay for a $25 one, but I didn't. I only paid for the $15 and I got the $25 one for free. So if you're looking for new nail strips, I'll link these, I'll link... <laughs> I dropped it twice. I'll link these down below so you can check them out. And if you got your Allure box and you're like hesitant on using that coupon, use it. Definitely use it. There is shipping involved, but I think the extra $5 takes care of the shipping. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about are, let's do brushes. I think I have two. Yeah, I have two brushes. I've been using this one for blush. They're two blush brushes, actually. Why I brought two of them down. These are the ones that I pick every day to use. And... I don't know. So I used two blush brushes. This one is a wet and wild one. I got it in like a holiday gift set. I really like the way that this is rounded right here. And I just, I don't know. I really like this for powder blushes. I love this for powder br blushes. It just sweeps on my cheeks really easily and nicely. And I really like it. It's nice and soft. And then this one is the Beau Gotchis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I got this in an Ipsy and I use this for cream blush. I never was a cream blush user until I got a Natasha Denona palette that I'm a little obsessed with and I use all the time. It's a really great blush brush for blush, like for cream blush. And um, I don't know, I just really like it. I use this today on my blush, loved it. So those are my two brushes. I will link the holiday kit if it's still available. I'm not sure if it is, but I do think this is available and I think it might be available on Ipsy's website. All right, let's do foundation and concealer. So the so the two found the two no the one foundation that I'm using every day. I lost the cap and it's really dirty because I do use it every day and I don't. There's hair everywhere and I don't clean off my foundations. Maybe I should. I never have, but maybe I should. Maybe I'm just a dirt ball. I'm probably a dirt ball and a lot of people clean their foundation, but I don't. So anyway, I use the Revlon Color Stay. This is in the shade two twenty natural beige when it's in the summer i use a uh, a darker one but this one is for combination and oily skin and it is a matte foundation i really like this foundation a lot like a lot a lot this foundation stays on really nicely it's it is full coverage but you do have to build it to get full coverage but it is a really nice foundation if you don't want to have like a thick full coverage look to just even out your skin tone and i really like this this goes with a lot of powders I don't really ever have to worry about a powder like lifting it up when I use it. I just, I really like this a lot. I've been using it for like almost two years now. Sometimes I'll go to a different one if I want to try one, but this is like my go-to foundation. And again, it's Revlon Color Stay. The two concealers I've been using constantly. One is the Too Faced Multi-Use um, Sculpting Concealer. I got this in a BoxyCharm. And I use this all the time. This has more of a yellow base to it, so I do like it to brighten up my under eyes. It's really, really good. It does have a lot of full coverage. It's in the shade Pearl, but it definitely has like a yellow undertone. It has a really nice, a really nice thick consistency, but it's not so thick that you get like, like it doesn't break up under your eyes. I'm trying to remember the word. You never like have a word that you know you know the word and you can't think of it. 
that's where I'm going through. Anyway, this doesn't like cause any kind of like crinkling under your eyes or anything like that. Once you set it under your eyes, it just stays there and it's really nice to brighten up your under eyes. And I've been using the Juvia's Place. This is the Juvia's Place concealer. I got this quite a while ago. I'm almost completely out of it. I have the shade 21. It's one of their lightest shades, I believe. I could be wrong, but it's very, very light. I use this and then I put this on top of it. So it just makes my under eyes look a little bit brighter than normal and it definitely covers my dark circle. So this is a Juvia's Place one. And these are the two concealers that I've been wearing every day with my Revlon Color Stay. Then the two powders I've been using for my face are the Tarte shape tape setting powder right here i like to take my i like to take a wet beauty blender and this is one of the elf beauty blenders a face overall face beauty blender these are so good guys if i if i had to pick one beauty sponge to use it would be this elf one because i love it so much it's so good it's so so good i have like five at least anyway i like to use a wet beauty blender or beauty sponge and dip it into the powder and then pat pat it onto my skin to set my foundation that way it feels like it's kind of like melting into my skin maybe it's not but it I feel like it is and I always do my t-zone because that's my oiliest part of my face and I just use my wet beauty blender and pat it on and this is really good it just keeps the shine down I really like it I'm almost out of it and yeah I'm definitely almost out of it but anyway this is the Tarte Shape Tape setting powder it's really good i really like this one this is in the shade translucent and i think i got that from ipsy and then for my banana powder what i use to set my under eyes i use the beauty bakery flower setting powder in yellow and this is a banana powder but it's a very light banana powder it's not like a super super yellow one i used to use super yellow banana powder and you could tell you could see in my videos that my under eyes were super yellow this is nice and light. It's very, very, it's a very light formula. So it is like a very thin powder. It's kind of like a veil. So you just sweep it on. It's more like a veil than it is like a setting powder, if you know what I mean. This is really good. I really like it. Beauty Bakery setting powder in flower setting powder in yellow. All right, let's do lipsticks real quick. The two lips lipsticks or lip products that I've been using the most this this month actually the past few months and I've been using the mad as hell lip crayons I'm going to put them in my description box I couldn't find one I was looking for it all over but I couldn't find it I'll link it in my description box I love them they go on like a lipstick but they kind of dry down and they're very very comfortable I have a lot of their nude shades so they're called Matt as hell. Yeah, matte as hell. So I'll link in my description box. They're really good. But anyway, I've been loving the Thrive Cosmetics um, lip pencil in the shade Jizian. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it is this really pretty nude shade. I use this as an overall lipstick. So I'll just put it all over my lips and that's the color I'll use all over my lips. It is perfect and it stays on like a liquid lipstick. It doesn't budge. It just doesn't budge. It is so good. I love this. It's just such a great formula. And then I've been using the NARS. What are these? Dolce. This is a Dolce. This is a velvet matte lip pencil in the shade Dolce Vita. I received this from Allure. I got it as a free gift for someone signing up with my link. I've actually received a few of these. And this is just a really pretty lip tint. It's right there. You put it all over your lips and it stays on like a lip tint. It doesn't really move or budge. It's not like a super matte formula and it's not like, it doesn't look like it. you have like, it's not a bright color. kind of looks like your lips, but better if that makes sense. It's really pretty, very light color to your lips and I love it so much. I have, for my highlighter that I've been using, I've been using it on almost every video, which is funny because whenever I find a highlighter that I like, I kind of stick with it for months and then I have to change out. I don't know why I have so many highlighters if I don't use them all. But anyway, this is the IBY Beauty Highlighter in the shade 24 Magic. I got this in an Ipsy and it's so pretty. It's what's on my cheeks today. And it just looks like this. And you only need the tiniest little bit. I like to put it on my ring finger 
and just kind of swirl it on my finger like that and then lightly tap it onto my face and you really don't need that much you can see it right there you really don't need that much but I mean you can cake it to make it like more of a blingy shade um, I don't know if my lights are picking it up but you can make it really blingy it's what's on my cheeks and I love it it's just so pretty it goes with almost every look I wear because you know I wear the same look every day okay um that's the, my one highlighter that I've been using. Two blush, nope, three blushes. I have the ColourPop Press Powder Blush in the shade Interstellar. I really like this shade right here. It's really pretty. I wear it almost every day. I like to mix this one with um, every blush that I, that I wear. It's right there. It's so pretty. I really love that. I love it so much, and ColourPop really isn't that expensive. I think those were $9, that was $9. I've been wearing the Hourglass blush a lot. This is a really pretty blush because it gives you a glow to your skin. It's an ambiance, or the ambient, and it's, or ambient, I don't know. Um, lighting blush, and this is in the shade Diffused Heat. This gives you like a really pretty overall glow. It gives you the blush that you need, but it also makes you look glowy, and it's so beautiful. I wear this so much so much and like for using it so much it doesn't look like I've used any this is gonna last me forever and the last but not least of my blushes because I'm obsessed with blush this is the Natasha Denona bloom blush and glow palette I got this from boxy pop-up maybe and so you have two powders right here this is a highlight and so is that I like to mix those two together and use them as a highlight and then we have these two cream blushes and that's what's on my face today and these are so beautiful this one is like super deep but it goes on your skin really really beautifully it doesn't look that deep it just kind of gives it like this really beautiful glow you guys this i love this palette so much for blush i didn't think i would i was like oh it's cream i use it every day i mix those two together and i absolutely love them so much it's so beautiful these are they're so, so beautiful. I love them so much. All right. The bronzer I've been getting the most use out of is this one. And this is in, this is by Beauty Perspectives. And the shade, it's called Item Cheek Money. The shade is Mood Vibes. And it's a Swipe and Glow Bronzer Contour Duo. I got this from an Ipsy as well. And I just swirl my brush into this I just wore my my blush into this one completely and put it all over my face as a bronzer I don't really contour I just bronze my face and I like to use the deeper shade to contour my nose but I really do like this bronzer it goes on really nicely it doesn't go patchy and it doesn't stick to any cream product so like if you have your foundation on and you didn't set like this side of your face real well it doesn't stick to it I really like it I would definitely purchase another one if I had one. So if I if I if I run out of it, I'll definitely purchase another one. Anyway, so there's the bronze I've been using, and then I have three palettes, and then I swear I'm done. The palettes that I've been using the absolute most, two are from ColourPop, and the other one is from someone else. Okay, so I love the Bye Bye Birdie palette for a purple look, a purple and a pink look. This is just such a real. This is just such a beautiful palette. I love this shade right here for the center lid, and I love. All of the shades they're all so pretty guys they're just this is such a beautiful palette I don't really use this shade very much and that's just because I don't want to but I use this shade all the time for a base shade and then I just build it up all of the shades I love this so much it makes it the most beautiful purple eye look and it's just so pretty I love this palette so much I want and I don't use the glitters very often like that's a glitter I don't really go for that at all but it is beautiful Anyway, really, really pretty. If you like purple shadows or pink shadows, this is really pretty. It's a very warm palette. The next palette I've been using constantly is the All Forest Sight Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop palette. I use this constantly. Constantly. It's what's on my eyes today. Whenever you guys see like a brown eye look like this or a like, I don't know how to say what this shade is, but like a like a salmon pink shade and purple on my eyes. It's usually this palette. Also green. I've been using the greens in here too. So whenever you guys see me using, whenever you guys see eyeshadow on my face, it's usually this one. 
It's just usually this one. This is such a great palette. I love this shade right here. Today I have this shade and this shade on. That's all, just two shades. And then I have, for my shimmer, I have my, I use my Soft Glam Anastasia palette and I've been using this, this shimmer to go with the eye look I make with the Raw Beauty Christie palette. But anyway, I love this palette too. I use this one all the time. You can tell. I'm, I hit pan and I use this constantly. Like, I love these shades. These are perfect shades to use all the time. This one and this one are my two go, my go-to palettes that I pick up all the time. If I want to be daring and rambunctious, I pick up my purple palette. I really don't need any other palettes. I don't know why I have so many, but I use these all the time. I think that's it. That's it, guys. We did it. Those are my favorites that I've been using for the past few months. I should be doing favorites more often, but I really don't change out my makeup that much. I like add a few new things here and there. I hope you guys are having a really great day. I'm gonna make sure to link everything in my description box down below. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. I love you guys so, so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.